was saying this to you, that you should debate this? Was it all of them? Was it a specific cabinet member or agency I, director? You know, I, before I comment on that publicly, I'd really like to have a conversation with the president so I can make him aware of what we were told and by whom. But I will say that the messages we received didn't get any pushback internally from the briefers. What we were told over and over again was, uh, look, this action was necessary. Uh, this was a bad guy. We, we had to do it. And um, uh, we can't have division. We can't have dissension uh, within our ranks, within our government, or else it sends this, the wrong signal to the Iranians. And I just, I think that's completely wrong. They were asked repeatedly, what, if anything, would trigger the need for the administration to come back to Congress for a declaration of war or an authorization for the use of military force? At one point, I believe one of the briefers said something along the lines of, I'm sure we could think of something. But they struggled to identify anything. They were asked specifically, well, what about if you, uh, if you concluded, well, uh, it's not my point to get into that here. I don't want to accidentally say anything classified. My point is, they were asked a number of hypotheticals about situations in which they might have to uh, appropriately come and ask for authorization for Congress. Not once did they say, yes, we need to do it in that circumstance. Uh, at one point, one of the briefers said something like, uh, don't worry, we'll consult you. Well, with history as our guide, uh, consultation isn't necessarily the same thing as authorization for the use of military force. A declaration of war or an AUMF is what the Constitution requires, and drive-by notification or after-the-fact uh, lame briefings like the one we just received aren't adequate.